Hi everyone. I wanted to come on and share some dyes with you guys. I actually put some samples together to share with you. These dyes are from DIY Art Bin Store on AliExpress. For those who are interested, I will put the links in the description for you. And if you go to the shop, um, there are lots of new arrivals and they have some really cute dyes um, in the shop if you want to check that out. Um, before I share the samples, I want to, well, I actually wanted to do this uh, video last week, um, but I've been a little busy. Um, I just received another package with um, a bunch of cute uh, Christmas dyes in there. These are some of the newer dyes they added to the shop. This one I'm really excited about. I love this mug dye. You get that cute little gingerbread dye, the candy cane, and marshmallows. And of course, when I put these together, I'll come on and share with you. Um, really quickly, for all you Hello Kitty lovers, um, there's a shop that I want to share with you guys, and I'll put the link to the shop in the description. Um, there are lots of Hello Kitty dyes to choose from. Um, I only put one together, and I don't know if I shared this one on Instagram or not. It's a cute uh, Hello Kitty gingerbread dye. I can probably look at this all day and not get bored with it. Um, you know, she's fairly simple to put together, and I love that they added the cut where it cuts out the outline of the dye. I like that little detail. Um, who wouldn't like a cute little package with Hello Kitty on it? This one, I put a little pocket in the back, added a little tag. She's so stinking cute. So, um, I will, like I said, I'll share the link to that shop as well. All right, as far as these dyes, the only one that I did not put together yet, and once I do, I'll share it with you guys, are these heart sucker dyes. As you can see, you get the layering dyes just to make it look like different candy or chocolate suckers, and then you get the cute little bow um, to add to them as well. So there's that one. I'm going to start with this cute um, lamb dye. I have this was actually a, um, a really easy dye to put together. I will admit, I think this is the cutest lamb dye ever. She looks so innocent. Um, and I love the size of her, too. She fits perfectly on cards and tags. Just, you know, sweet little innocent face. So stinking cute. Perfect for Easter. Here's our little flower. Um, this one. See, I'm all for any mug dye. This is a cute mug dye. You get the, um, you know, the whipped cream and the cute little gingerbread. I made a little tag with it. And you can even add a sentiment to the mug. You can emboss it or just stamp it. Look at that little gingerbread. Isn't he cute? Cute little um, cookie. I just added the Candy Kings. It's not a dye. Those are just embellishments I had um, in my stash. Really cute um, set. Now this one I shared on Instagram, and it's the cake dye. As you can see, this is, again, is a really simple dye to put together. So I made a Christmas uh, card using it and you don't necessarily have to make it Christmas again you can use this all occasion instead of using like a holly die you can put like a little candle die and make it like a birthday cake for a birthday card so you can even add green or black um, frosting and make it like a Halloween die if you wanted to just really cute die to play with again love the size this is a cute Valentine's Day beer. He's a little, ma uh, like a mailman. He has his little uh, envelope. I love that they added wings. Just, this uh, die is really, really cute. I just stamped hug and kisses with stamps I had in my stash. This cute little face. And he has a mailer bag and there's actually two dies like little postcards or envelope dies to tuck it inside the bag, but I glued mine down first and, you know, forgot to stick them inside before I glued it. But, um, really cute, uh, 
Valentine's Day day. Or again, you can do it in different ways. It could be an all occasion die as well. Um, this would be cute for like happy mail uh, tags or cards. Love that little bear. All right, the next one is another Valentine's Day die. I think this is a pug if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's just kind of chilling on the love sign. I didn't do too much to this card. Um, so you don't get the U. I just had those dies in my stash. Um, so you get the love dies and then of course the dog and the heart balloon. But look at that little face. How stinging cute is that little dog? His ears are kind of flapped down. Super cute. Alright, the next one is this um, owl gingerbread die. I'm not a big fan of owls, but this is a cute die. Again, I made this very simple. Um, but if you, you know, I think this just needs different colors. Um, if I used different paper, it would have been even more cuter. It is a cute die. Um, you get the little candy die. I should have added maybe some green to it. But it is a cute gingerbread owl die. And for if you have, um, what I like to do, I like to add the glossy accents to um, little candy dies. It just makes them look glossy and, you know, more realistic. You guys can kind of see that shine. So there's that one. And here's another owl. And I think this one is supposed to be for Valentine's Day. And on the, in the shop, if you look for this die, I think, um, it's pink. So... I should have looked before I put it together, but mine is brown. I didn't do too much to this one, um, but it's a cute owl sitting on a branch. They're really cute. This would make a cute little card or whichever. Little owl. All right. I have two really cute dog dies. Little Christmas carolers. So you get a girl and a boy. And I believe you have to buy them separate. I don't think they go together. Um, now, this, I guess, card. I had a lot of fun putting this card together. This wouldn't be a card that I would send to somebody or sell. Um, I just had a bunch of fun with this little, uh, with this card. But those little dogs are so cute. They're little carolers. They have their little books. She has her cute little bow. I love these dog dies. They're so, so stinking cute. Little Christmas carolers. So there those are. I added like other little dies I just had in my stash. I guess I was just trying to make like a little picture. I even put the string on there. Yeah. Those are really cute, though. I, um, I'm happy I got those because I'm definitely, uh, will be playing with those, um, this holiday. Now, these two have been in the shop, and you guys may have, you might own them, or you probably seen them, um, floating around. These are just gingerbread dies, and they don't go together. You gotta, uh, buy them separate. And again, I didn't do too much to them basically just kind of put them together, but they are really cute gingerbread dies. Those little faces, I can't get over these uh, gingerbread faces. They're just so sweet and innocent and cute. So there those are. And those are the dies, the samples I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I wanted to quickly share as well, but these are, uh, these aren't from the shop. These are Sizzix dies, and I hauled these on one of my recent Hobby Lobby hauls. These are the Christmas tag dies. Um, so I put them together just to kind of show you how cute are these little tags. So there's a little deer. This one is a little tricky because the ears, so let's go kind of this way. I'm not too sure 
about a tag with this one just because of the antlers. I don't know. But he is really cute. I mean, this would probably be good by itself. But there's the Santa. I love... This is probably one of my favorites. I love that little snowman. And there's a little elf. And the penguin is really cute. I kind of messed up on the cheeks, but I said, you know what? I'm just leaving it as it is. I didn't want to redo it all over again, but um, a really cute penguin tag. Again, I bought those from Hobby Lobby, and it's from Sizzix. And this is the Sizzix pocket tag die. I love this die. It's a really cute. I didn't do too much to this. I actually kind of ran it over with my chair and I'm like, no. Um, but you can, you know, deck this all out and add embellishments to it. And I did put a little gift card in there. As you can see, it fits really nicely in there. These would be cute. Um, you know, you put a little string on there, put gift cards in there, and put them on the tree, like on Christmas Eve. And, you know, just let the kids or whoever pick them off the tree. So cute. I really like that pocket. I like anything, you know, with a pocket or, you know, a tag. This one I think I shared on Instagram. This is a die from Hobby Lobby. It's a Momenta die, and I think that's the sweetest little... Santa face. Isn't he cute? So I will be playing, well, any, all of the Christmas stuff I will be, uh, or dies I'll be playing with this year. Is there any other? I think that's all I kind of wanted to share with you guys today. Again, I, as you can see, I have a bunch to work on, and as soon as I get them done, I will come on and do another project share. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, if you enjoy my videos, I'm also on Instagram. I use Mommy Loves Gigi over there as well. Um, it is Halloween weekend, guys. Be safe out there. Have fun. And I will chat with you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.